Hey everyone, my name is Ethan and welcome back to a brand new Knights and Dragons Let's Play. Today guys, the new boss is out. Uh, I have missed one episode last week, so it's been an entire week since our last episode, which means the new epic boss is out. I've leveled up some armors, I've opened some chests on my own, and I managed to actually get something, which is awesome. Uh, I've managed to get a good epic, or not a good epic, but better than nothing. But, uh, so let's go ahead straight away. Let's, let's do the epic boss first. So let's head over here. We got the Mecha Hunchback, uh, which is really cool. I really like this guy. I'm excited to have his armor on this account. I really like, I like having this lower level account that I can wear the epic boss armors on. But anyway, here we go. We've, uh, we got our knight, Ethan, who is the all-seeing ages. And you can see here, it's level 58 now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, level 58. So... We got some fusion boosts off the last Fusion Frenzy War, and I got a couple from the raid, uh, which you guys would have missed out on. Uh, I did find something out that was a little bit saddening, and that is that I can't kill anyone during the Fusion Wars, which means I probably won't be able to kill anyone this weekend either, but uh, we'll work. We'll work around it, but let's kill the boss here. Let's kill the boss. Hopefully, we can still kill him. I've been able to kill him so far. Uh, my phone just beeped. My bad. <laughs> I need to put myself on Do Not Disturb. It's really bad, but uh, we should be able to... Yeah, we've been... Still killing this guy with one knight. I think we're at level 11 or 12. I didn't actually check. But we're very close to crafting this armor, which is awesome. Please drop some energy. Energy, please. That would be sweet. Do it. Damn it. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. There's our mech gear. So that puts us at... Yeah, that was our 11th kill. So we're nearly up to crafting the armor already, which is sweet. Because I'm so excited. I'll show you guys my armors now. Let's quickly go over here. I'll show you guys the knights. And I'll show you the new armor that we've got. So, here we go. We've got Ethan, who was wearing the All-Seeing Aegis. That's our main knight, obviously. Then Cliff, who is now wearing this new uh, Billabong battle gear, which is from the last epic boss, which is really cool. That's uh, a nice little over 1,000 stats here. Then Hydro. This is actually from the raid. Uh, my guild was just below getting the epic. So, we got the Vortex Aegis Plus, which is still an okay armor. It's better than nothing. Uh, and it, it's actually stronger than my northerner's battle gear once i level it up uh once this gets to level eight it'll have better stats than the northerner's battle gear and i like that both of them like as you can see look uh that drops us down to 840 defense uh so exit without saving changes and we have that guy 1000 1000 which makes me really happy and here's our new one on santiago we got ourselves oh, abandon progress we got ourselves a Triskelion War Gear Plus. I got this out of the chest two days ago, I believe. I opened, I think, five chests. Uh, and we've gotten it up to level 20. It's not the best. Uh, this isn't the best armor, normally. It's not even the best armor in a plus version. I think it's uh, it'll be 2,260 attack and 1,980 defense, I think. I think it might be a little bit lower than that. It's something around there. So it's going to be good when it's maxed, but there are better armors out there that we can obviously get. And then our Tornado is at level 38, which is all good. He's 1,800, 1,800. And then Phantom's down here, which is the same. And I'm going to replace this guy with the new Epic Boss armor once we get it, which will be a, um, a Spirit Earth. So as you can see, our Ethan is firmly over 2,000, 2,000 stats, which is awesome. I really like that. And uh, I've got a couple more kills of the mech bot to do. Here's the base. This is what the base is looking like. We've got ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight training fields, which is really good. Uh, I need to put, I actually want to put, I like having three blacksmiths. That's how I play. So now I have three, all right? I don't have anything new in here that's super, super awesome to craft or anything like that. But I do want to start crafting more of these. I want to start crafting more snakeskin armors. So I'm going to craft that one now. We might even switch over to the next one and craft it. Because in two hours' time, I might be crafting the epic boss armor. So I want to talk to you guys about that. But I also want to do these two keys here that I got earlier. I was just like, I'll just save them for today's episode. You never know what will happen. Let's just go all the way to the end and use both these keys. Maybe get some gems. We didn't. Bummer. We could use a... Oh, actually, 130 attack. Little pendant there. That's nice. Let's see what Cliff is using at the moment. 112 defense. Yeah. I like that. Let's do that. Let's do that for a little while. <laughs> and now let's go into here. Because what I wanted to do, I really need to start doing, is I need to start combining some rings. Uh, it's sort of... It's a very iffy thing. Alrighty, guys. So, I want to quickly go over exactly what I want to start doing here down at the Skeleton's Tomb. 
on the mighty stage. I want to get our phantom here. Actually, I think if we could just do it in... Let's just do it in ETH. Let's just do it with the max guy. I had slowly been leveling myself up. I still need to get to level 100, but we are working our way there. What I want to do now, in my spare time, whenever I have spare time, I want to go through and just farm this stage. What I used to do on my main account when I was leveling up my first couple of epics, I would just watch TV and go through this stage over and over again. And I'll show you guys why. It's basically to make the snake skin armor. It's really easy to do. You lose, like, what? I don't know, 12 HP or something? Oh, we'll kill that in a second. You lose a little bit of HP, but you can use each knight one at a time and just get, like, I used to get, I think... I used to try and save for 100 snakeskin leather and then craft a bunch of them, which is actually really inefficient, but I liked doing it. Uh, on this account, I'll just, uh, I'll just craft them as I can. But I want to start crafting maybe, like, 10 of these a day so that I can just keep leveling up the lower level epics and getting them. I want to get them all to level 50, uh, and then one by one I want to work to getting them maxed. So I think the only epics that I'm going to max as well are Ethan, Tornado, and Santiago. I don't know about the other ones. I sort of want to keep them around and then see what happens. I don't know if I'll bother bother maxing them. But yeah, that's what, that's what I need to do. I need to start farming that for the snakeskin leather because that is apparently, according to the internet, that's the best way to craft your, like to, that's the best armor to craft if you want to power level your stuff, if you're willing to put in the extra little bit of time. So let's do another kill on this guy because most of my progress has been done off camera this week and that's what these videos are. These videos are just like update videos. This is what I did all week. Uh, this is how I'm progressing. This is how I'm doing that progression, you know, so that you guys can do the same thing if you're falling behind. But uh, we should easily get through this. <clears throat> I'm going to save my special attack till the end. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me feel good. Boom! Oh! Sadness. That's a little disappointing, but alright. That one's down. Awesome. And I put this... Oh, man. We're so close. Like, I remember when I first did the epic boss, it would take me like two days to get all the kills. Now, I can do so many kills with just one night that I'm able to do it in a day, which is awesome. Let's go into here. I'm going to show you my current medal. I'm going to get a... Hydra Hunter's Mail Plus, really nice. That one is 6 gems and 30k gold. Not very good, but how many days are left on this? We have, oh, only one day. Okay, I've been very inconsistent on this. I'm not even up to the gems. Dang, I need to get those gems. That's top priority is to get the gems. Let's see if we can beat someone who beat us. Let's go. I don't know what that armor is, but it's amazing. What is that pirate armor there? That one, the one that just KO'd me. What is that armor? It's strong. Oh, I'm done for. Oh dear. Come on, one hit! That's why I lost last time. Right, well after my humiliating defeat, I think I'll show you guys where I'm up to. I'm here at the sunken Karakt. I don't know that word. Well, I'm here at the sunken thing. Uh, apparently, we're quite close to unlocking the next stage. Let's do that real quick. And that'll be, that'll be the episode done. That'll be good enough for us. So I'm really trying to push myself to get to heroic mode before it ends. I think it has, it's probably got like what, 14 days or something maybe? I'm not 100% sure, but I would like to get to heroic mode before it finishes and do a little bit of heroic mode farming on the lowest level so that I can get some XP. I don't want to try and get the epic. There's no way I'm going to do that, but I want to level up. I need to get to level 100 as quickly as I can. And I don't want to have to wait till next month to use the heroic mode to level up because it is a hassle. This is pretty easy, you know, now that I have... How many epics do I have? Four epics in total. I also have that mono water that I can fuse away whenever I want. Uh, we need to get through this guy really quickly. Let's do one more kill. Uh, I know that I'm sort of just recycling the same stuff, but... I just... I want to make the episodes at least ten minutes long, and I didn't achieve that much during the week, because I wasn't able to record any of the raid or any of the war. I'll hopefully record this weekend's war. I'll record some battles that I'll win. Uh, I'll just be able to show you guys what level I'm at there and how many points I get and whatnot. Because I'm pretty sure in the Fusion War, I got zero points. So, <laughs> I might lose. Come on. Come on, dude. We're going to have to start using two knights after this. And I don't know what other knight to use. I guess I'll use Santiago because at least he's strong against this boss. But I'm not really... I might actually... No, I'll just use a friend. That's it. I'll just use a friend because I'm sure I've got stronger friends than I do knights. Alright, that guy's down. Now we're weak to these spirit guys, which isn't a good... That's bad news bears. 
But it's alright, because our last guy is strong against the boss. Which is what I'm counting on. <laughs> We're gonna level. Yes! Level 40. Look at those stats going up there. They're terrible. I had totally forgotten uh, when I originally played this game. I would totally forgotten about getting through all the stages and trying to level up so you'd be stronger. I didn't even consider that when I started the Let's Play. I was like, yeah, it'll be all good. All I gotta do is get good armors. That's not true. You gotta get to level 100. ASAP. And maybe once I'm closer to level 100, I might try and join a good guild. Like, the guild I'm with now is alright, but... I want to join one that's in an alliance so that I can actually get kills during the wars and that. Uh, so we'll get strips and everything like that. Hopefully. We'll see. I don't know what alliance I'll join yet either. There we go. We did it. We have unlocked the marsh, which this one I used to farm a lot when I was trying to level up my account. But yeah, guys, that's it for today's episode. Uh, I hope the progress is moving along as quickly as you would like it to. Of course, if you've got any tips and tricks, let me know in the comment section down below. And I am considering starting my own guild. Uh, I would have to get express interest from you guys to bother doing it though because it is something that's difficult to manage. So if it's something you'd really like to see, let me know down below. And if there's overwhelming support for it and you guys are willing to help me with it, then we'll go ahead and we'll do that. And if not, I'll just continue joining other guilds and playing with them. But yeah guys, like always, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.